How's it going everyone? Now I think you know me well enough by now. When I put out a review video, I do so truthfully and honestly. My opinions in this video are based on my use of this equipment and I'm in no way being told what to say or will have this video edited by anyone other than myself. As you probably know, I'm not a big fan of the regular out of box review videos you see on YouTube. The item is at its best straight out of the box and these reviews never show you the bad side of the product because they either normally have nothing to compare it against or they'll only say good things to keep on the good side of the company that supplied it. Now I for one will never do that and in fact I'll always try my best to destroy said item to get a full WH Creations seal of approval. Now you may have seen my other Evolution video, it was an honest review of this R255 SMS Mitosaur that was recorded after 5 months of use. In actual fact this is the second saw that Evolution had sent me because guess what I did with the first one? I destroyed it! I pushed it to its limits, cutting everything from 19mm rebar, flat stock, thick wall tubing and pretty much anything else that I had lying on hand. And I finally killed it. And now that is a true review and one that I'd want to watch if I were thinking about buying that product. I want to know the full capabilities of that saw and how far I can push it. Being either a beginner in woodworker, a hobbyist, a full time wood butcher, steel worker or a trade person doing site work. Therefore, you can feel safe in the knowledge that this video is a grade A review filled with lots of helpful things to know before you part with your hard earned money. That being said, Evolution did send me the R15 VAC which is used in this review for free to try out. However, the choice on whether to review this machine or not was left up to me. The difference being I actually wanted this product and had asked Evolution personally to send me one. The story goes a little bit like this. So the sun was shining and I was happily playing in my workshop when I took out my phone and started scrolling through Instagram, when all of a sudden I stumbled across Evolution's post for their brand new wet dry workshop vac. Oh my, I said as I watched the promotional video. The cool sweeping shots had me transfixed on the all black and orange box, bursting at the seams with goodies. Watch how it inhales all the dust being created by your tools. The compact features where all the accessories have a built in place. Right, let's stop it there. I'm going to admit something. I was smitten. What an awesome bit of kit. I read on and get this, it has a power takeoff socket. If you're not familiar with what one of these are, let me show you. You can plug in your tool, turn the button to auto, and now whenever I turn on that tool, the vac will automatically turn on and then turn off when I've finished. Well, that was it. I was drooling all over my phone and I knew I had to have this new shiny. If you're unaware by what I mean, I like to think myself as a little bit of a magpie. I see something new and shiny and I must have it. So I'll get in touch with my good friends over at Evolution and ask for them to send me one over. It's in the post mate, be with you on Friday. At this point, I was getting a little bit worried. Had I built myself up to such an extent that I'd be deflated if this didn't live up to my high expectations? Well, no actually, because of one very simple reason. By the power of Woo's workshop, I am the power! Um, yeah, it's a little bit awesome. Let's talk size. Us guys seem to get a tad anxious whenever the word size is even mentioned. But let me reassure you now, it's about 24 inches long, 17 wide and 11 inches thick. Which makes it the perfect size to throw in the boot of your car or the back of your van. After a long hard day of building a new woodshed, I decided to try it out, cleaning all the sawdust from my decking. Now the decking was covered in everything from dust, bricks, stone, soil, and even plastic wrappers from the hinges that I've been using. I set the vac up with the two extension ones, which you'll find neatly on the rear of the machine. The machine comes with a 1.8 meter length hose, which is okay for my small workshop, but I think it could be a little bit longer. I then attached the wide nozzle, similar to the one you get on a normal vacuum cleaner. I switched the machine on and guess what it did? It only sucked everything up. Would you Adam and Eve it? A vacuum that sucks everything up. Now I've seen everything. But once the decking had been blitzed to dirt, I opened up the vac spacey 15 litre bin using the two side clips. The two parts came away easily and I was left with a big old lump of dirt and dust. This machine picked up brick, large pieces of wood, soil, screws, nails, you name it, it was now in the bin. 
In addition to dirt, this machine can also double up as a wet vac. If you wish to use this feature, you simply replace the filter that comes pre-fitted with this piece of mesh that's also included. There's a ball valve which will shut off suction on the machine when it becomes full. A nice little feature so you don't end up sucking water through the motor. This would be ideal if you need to drain your pond, remove excess water from a site, or even if you do get a little bit clumsy and knock over a bottle of wine while in someone's home. Not like I'd do anything like that, of course. Talking about filters, you will need to keep the main filter clean to maximise the best possible suction. I found this out while vacuuming up a lot of very fine dust. I didn't see any loss of suction, but on emptying the machine, I had noticed there was a large buildup around the filter, which left would lead to suction issues. Now I have spoken to Evolution about this and asked whether a bag should have been supplied, which would have really helped stop this issue. At present, there isn't one included with this machine, but I'm pretty certain you could get an off the shelf bag that would help massively. Not having a bag to hand and not wanting to show any modifications in this video, I removed the filter by twisting the lock on the bottom then taking it out and brushing it down. A brush works fine and a little tap against something hard will help any stubborn dust come away. However, I do have a compressor and I like to clean all of my filters this way. It really does bring the filters back to new. Once done and returned to the machine, it did sound a lot better because the airflow wasn't being restricted. So this is something you may want to keep an eye on if you do end up buying this vac. Now, why would I need this vacuum I hear you ask? I have a record power twin cam vac with piped in hoses around my workshop. Well, my learned friends, I didn't ask Evolution for another tool that would be collecting dust after this review. I honestly wanted another vac that I could use alongside my fixed in one. Something that I could take outside into the garden so not to get dust everywhere. And a vac that I could also take on site whenever I needed to go into someone's home. The noise of this machine is also a bonus as it only puts out around 80 decibels, which according to Google is equivalent to a window air conditioner the weeping of a small child who has just been asked to turn off the PlayStation. Time to turn the PlayStation off. What do you mean? What? What do you mean? What? A noisy restaurant or an inconsolable child who has been given carrots instead of chips for dinner. <coughs> so in other words, it's not obnoxiously loud. I'm not trying to replace my current setup, not in the slightest. This new vac isn't going to be taken over, and to be honest, I'll probably never even attach it to any of the tools while in the workshop. Why would I need to do that when I've already got an awesome setup? But my needs don't dictate your own. Will this vac work as a dust collection system in your workshop? Absolutely. Is it comparable to my cam vac? No, but it's not trying to be that kind of tool. Although I said it's not going to be connected to any of the tools in my workshop, this doesn't mean I'll never use it. It's a great secondary hoover to help clean up after a busy day's cutting and works incredibly well at finding all the small places that my larger one just can't reach. This back's new workshop mission is to seek out new dust and new hiding crevices to boldly go where no cam back has gone before. During the summer months, as I said before, I like to work outside. Sun's out, tools out, that kind of thing. This vac is a perfect size not to be cumbersome, heavy to lift or get in the way when you're working in small areas. Now I've always known that the go-to hoover on any work site is a Henry. It's a great go-to choice for any trade. But has the Henry been its match? I honestly feel that the punch that this little vac offers will be the new go-to vac for any trade. Not to mention that this vac will also double up as a powerful blower. Which is going to come in handy to reach all of those hard to reach places or even to assist in blowing larger pieces around to make it easier to vacuum up. All I'm going to say is make sure your vac has a clean filter and an empty barrel. If you don't, you're just going to be blowing dust around everywhere. Don't ask me how I know that. I honestly feel what you're going to be getting with this vac is comparable to similar ones made by other companies, which have a much higher price tag. Which brings me nicely onto the price. Before this was released, I was expecting a price tag of anywhere between 150 to 199. Rather realistic, I thought. But how wrong was I when on release day, the price was set at, get this, 99 pounds and 99 pence. Yes, you heard me, 99 pounds and 99 pence. Let's just go over what you're gonna be getting for that 99 pounds, shall we? Don't worry, I'm not going to be boring you with all those specifications because if you're like me, that sort of thing will make zero sense anyway. You will be getting a thousand watt vacuum that can be used for wet and dry applications. Accessories that come with their own specific space on the machine. 
a blowing function with just a quick change of the ports, a wet vac for taking care of any spills, and finally, because this is the coolest thing about this vacuum in my personal opinion and why I think you will want one too, the power takeoff capability. Now I'm not making this video because I'm getting paid to do so. I'm making this video because I assume like me, you're in the need for a small portable vacuum cleaner. Be it one to use in your small workshop, something that will be continuously connected to a particular machine, something to assist in cleaning up after a hard day's wood butchering, or you're a trade looking for an inexpensive job site vac that you can take easily from one job to the next. As you know, I love my tools. The newer the better. And this is no exception. The only thing I'm gonna say against it is that there is nowhere to store the hose. It would be awesome if there was some way I could wrap the hose compactly so it didn't spring open on me when I'm trying to move it from one place to the next. Maybe even something similar to the cord which has its own hooks to wrap around. I did wonder whether you could store it within the machine itself, but sadly the motor stops you from doing this. I would also love to see this as a battery version, to really make it the ultimate portable dust vac, ideal for situations where you may not have the availability of an electric hookup. I for one am excited to see the future developments of Evolution Tools, and I personally look forward to the next amazing product. I honestly love this vacuum and I know you will too. And that's why I've managed to secure a 5% off voucher from Evolution to use on this vacuum or anything else on their website. Buying through this link will help me out and it lets me continue doing what I love, which is sharing my passion with you guys and girls. If however you don't fancy buying one, but you feel like contributing to what I do, are you aware that I'm also on Patreon? Find all the links down below in the description if you'd like to join. If you do anything however, make sure you click that subscribe button and bell icon so you're made aware every time I release a new video. Thanks again for watching guys and if you've enjoyed this review, make sure to hit that thumbs up and if you do end up buying one, let me know how you get on down in the comments below. And don't forget to use code WHCREATIONS5 for 5% off all the items on the Evolutions website. <laughs> Uh, no, no, nothing.